So I've just put a few photos together to show you how I managed to get headlights in really good condition as you'll see by these photos. I've got a few notes as well. Okay, so we're starting by things that you won't be able to improve on and that is if you've got dirt inside the headlights or there's been a poor connection and the smoke damage on the inside of the headlights and that can easily catch you out and you'll find obviously that you're going to be getting nowhere. So this is this Toyota Corolla I did uh, the other day and I've been doing them for about five years headlights uh, but I kind of found that some worked out better than others so I've kind of kept making mistakes and so now I can tell you exactly how to do it. So there the car is. Now what I do is I mask off around the headlights with masking tape so I can't scratch them. So there we go, like that. Now, this is the most scary part and it's kind of, uh, you feel like you're destroying the headlights. But I go over with a, an 80 grit and I sand for three minutes on each headlight. Um, yeah, okay then, I'll tell you what I do. I do 80, 120, uh, 180, 240, 320, 500, 1000, 1500, and then the foam ones, soft ones, are 3000 and 4000. So I always start on the headlight on the left and then go to the headlight on the right. That way if someone distracts you and you come back to it and you can't remember how far through the process you've got, you uh, don't get lost. So I do three minutes on one headlight and then three minutes on the other on all those different stages. So there we go, that's that. So what I use is I use a, a Festool sander, well Festool Hoover with a Merca sander. And the sander's really quite nice, so it sucks up the dust. So there's my little sander there. Uh, so I have the Velcro pads. So the pads before very long get dirty like that. And uh, that causes problems. As soon as they get dirty, I blow them off with an airline and get them clean again. Sort of every 40 seconds or so on. So, on. so if you don't clean the sand paper out, you get all these kind of little bubbles. Here, bubbles, well, that's the wrong word. Sorry, I find, uh, I find the wrong word sometimes. But these are little lumps of uh, the plastic you're sanding off and they generate heat and then they kind of melt into the surface a bit. So you end up damaging the headlight if you don't remove them. So there we are, another one all dirty. Um, needing cleaning out. So this is what the headlight will look like when it is at 500. So there'll be a slight improvement at 500. Uh, here's a 1500 disc. So yeah, 1500. So you can see they're getting clearer now when you get to 1500. So here are the foam back ones at 3000 and a 4000. So that's what it looks like after 3000. So from there, actually, it looks really good to you, but there is a very slight haze to it. So. Yeah, you can see a slight haze, and I'll just carry on, so it will get better all the time. So that will be after the 4000, improves again, but you can still see a very slight haze here. So you, that enables you to see that there is actually glass there. Okay, so this is the next process, which is actually worth doing, because it really is stunning if you do this. So these are the foam pads that are Velcroed and stick on the sander and you've got the fine and that's marked fine and then you've got the extra fine and that is also marked extra fine so I always keep the same sponge so that I'm not mixing up the two different types of grit 
so you just need a tiny amount like that just a tiny dribble and you must have the pad all wet uh, okay we're running ahead a bit here so yeah you have it wet you do the three minutes on each headlight like I said before and when I've finished I dry them out actually I don't rinse them out so most of the uh, abrasive paste is still in the foam and uh, you have the sander on the slowest speed you can otherwise you just flick all the stuff everywhere and make a mess in between each stage you wash off the headlights so that the f extra fine isn't mixed mixing with the fine grit okay so when you're finished you will get a headlight that is so clean like this that it's really hard to see the glass or the plastic and um, let's go to the next one so this one it kind of looks like someone's removed the plastic altogether so look there so that is definitely the same quality as what they left the factory with if not a tiny bit better uh, so I used to watch with a head torch and whenever I thought that they weren't improving used to go on to the next stage but that wasn't very successful you really need to set a timer and give each headlight the three minutes on each stage and then you will get a result like that now you will get some headlights that are sort of really destroyed and they've got cracks inside them and as long as they're not dirty on the inside they all restore a good bit they improve massively but they will never be as good as this this is a really good example so there we go good luck